I was at home, always at home, and then one of the neighbors came to paint my mom's house. And he said, why are you not going outside making friends? So he signed me in to the local football club where I lived. And then I started when I was 12 years old. So I was quite old. And I had my first session, I really liked it. And four years later, I made my debut for the national team. Uh, also, that you have to believe in yourself. That's one key thing. You have to believe because it's not easy in football. You have some ups, you have some downs. And after I won a lot of trophies, so obviously, you know, that made me the player I am now. Like never give up, motivate your players, play with passion, put your heart out on the pitch. Because some people are not even able to play football. They are sick or they have not the right health. So you need to appreciate that you can train every day and that you can play the game. A lot, like now in Mexico, the league is getting bigger, big players are coming. You see the investments in Europe, in the clubs, the facilities are perfect. You have like a swimming pool, you have like ice bath, jacuzzi. They have everything you need to be a professional football player. So I hope some other small clubs will grow more, they will invest more. But that is one of the biggest things I've seen. You need to be 100% every single training session because you play with one of the best players. So if you want to play, if you want to win, you need to be 100%, you need to sleep well, you need to eat well. If you have a bad day, you maybe need to meditate, but when you go to bed, make sure you write the positive things down from the day, because there is always one positive thing on your day that you can remember. And I think you need to continue helping yourself, that there is always a good thing, and then you grow in the game, you grow on the high level. And I, I like to look at big players, like, oh, why is she doing this? Maybe I need to do it as well. Or I ask questions like, what is the reason that you are as big as you are? Can you explain me? So, you know, don't be scared to ask big players the questions. I spoke with Mero van Dongen. She played for Rayadas. I say, Mero, how is it in Mexico? She said, the league is good. It's getting better. Maybe you have some teams that are not as good, but they are growing. And then I watched some games and I was in contact with Pachuca and I was like, yes, I'm going. And I saw uh, Jennifer Hermoso. She played for Pachuca. So I watched a lot of the Mexican league and I was like, yes, I want to play there. I want to see how it is. Like I said, I spoke to Mero. So I watched some games and I was like, I was quite interested. But as soon as I arrived in Mexico, I didn't know that every game was this intense. Yes. The games are good. It's very intense. So I didn't expect that. I thought the level will be a little bit lower, but it's higher than I thought. So I'm actually really, really happy. Like I said before, I really, I didn't expect the level was this good and I didn't know the games would be this intense. So no, I'm very surprised and I'm very happy. So I think it's a very good decision. I came to Mexico. On the field, it was quite hard because in Europe we have two days off in the week and here you train every day. So for me, I had to adjust to that. But now I know how it is, you know, I feel I get stronger, I, I feel fitter. So I think it's a good thing, but I needed to adjust to that. And off the pitch, yeah, I, I don't know, I like, the, I like the country, I like Pachuca. People say, oh, there is nothing to do in Pachuca. But the mountains, when I wake up, I drive to, my, to, Pachuca, to the club, I'm very happy because look the nature. You don't have it in Holland. On Holland, we have flat country. But I really appreciate the little things, you know, and you see people on the street, they have no money. And then I'm like, I need to be happy, I can play football. Those people have no money, they need to work so hard to get maybe 100 pesos. So no, this to be here, it makes me a better person. I was already a good person, but it makes me even more better. So I'm really happy to be a part of Mexico now.